Yeah, you have now, now there is a direct address also. Up till now to the Jews, it was all a long charge sheet, not addressing them directly. But here for once in this surah also, now they are directly addressed. And in a very appealing way. Ya Yohannas, O mankind. Although these words are common. But you know who are being addressed here are the people of the book. Ya Yohannas, O people. Qad jaakum rasoolu bil haqq min rabbikum. Our messenger has come to you with the total truth from your Lord. Fa'aminu khairan lakum. Believe in him. Have faith in him. Accept him. It is better for you. By in takfuru. And if you reject him. If you deny him. If you don't believe in him. If you disbelieve him. Fa inna lillahi ma fi sabawati wallah. So Allah doesn't care for you. Because to him belongs all the things, whatever is in the heavens or is in the earth. So he doesn't care for you. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلِيمًا حَكِيمًا And verily Allah is ever knowing, all wise. يَا عَلَى الْكِتَاب Now again, يَا عَلَى الْكِتَاب includes both the Jews and the Christians. But here, really the Christians are addressed. يَا عَلَى الْكِتَاب لَا تَغْلُو فِي دِينِكُمْ Don't exaggerate in your religion. It is the charge against the Christians. They raise the level of a messenger of Allah to Godhead. Included him in Godhead. Three in one, one in three. Some of them say he is God incarnate. Some of them say it is one aspect of Godhead. Three aspects of Godhead. But they have raised the level. This is ghulum, exaggeration. They have not denied they have not rejected Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. That is why you know how much Quran emphasizes that Muhammad is messenger of Allah and his bondsman and he's a basher. It's very important. Because people, when they exaggerate, and they exaggerate out of love. Out of love they raise the level. And in the same way, we Muslims, among our those people who have raised Muhammad to the level of Allah, and no less a person than a very great, very big alim, Ahmad Radha Khan Barilvi, and it is his couplet. Wahi jo mustavi e arshtha khuda ho kar Udhar pada wo madine mein mustafa ho kar The same person who was on the arsh As khuda As god Descended down In madina In the form of mustafa What is the difference between The christian belief and the belief of these Muslims. So they are very close to each other. And it is Guluf. So this is this word is very important. Ya Ahl al Kitab la taqlufi dinaku. Wala taqulu ala Allah illa al haq. Don't attribute to Allah except what is truth. Inna mal masihu isa ibn Maryam al Rasulullah. Verily, al Masih. Jesus, son of Mary, is a messenger of Allah. وَكَلِمَتُهُ And is a word from him. أَلْقَاهَا إِلَىٰ بَرْيَمَا Which he sent down to Mary. وَرُوحٌ مِّنْهُ And is a spirit from him. But each one of us has a spirit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَسَلُونَ كَالِ الرُّوحُ قُلِ الرُّوحُ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي Well, but there is a difference of grades. Ruh of Muhammad and Ruh of me and you. So actually, this is also Ruh of Minho. Ruh of Hazrat Masih is a special spirit, no doubt. But it is the spirit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
सो दैट इज दोजिशन इन नमल मसीह हो ई सब नो मरियमा रसूल है नंबर वन व कले मत हो नंबर टू हल्का इला मरियम व रूह मिन हो فآمنوا بالله ورسوله. So have faith and have belief in Allah and His messengers. All our messengers. I don't remember, you know, fully the couplets in Musadda Sehali. مگر مومنوں پر کشادہ ہے راہیں وہ نبیوں کا رتبہ خدا سے بڑھائیں اماموں کا رتبہ نبی سے ملائیں. I don't remember the words, you know, but I am giving the essence. If the Christians do it, they are kafar. If we do it, we are mu'minin. The crime is the same. The sin is the same. They also did not reject Jesus. They raised him to the level of Godhead. And we also, out of love, extreme love for Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, have raised him to that level. فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُلِهِ So have faith in Allah and His Messenger وَلَا تَقُولُوا سَلَاسَ Don't say three. Don't believe in Trinity. انتَهُوا Stop here. خَيْرًا لَكُمْ This is good for you. إِنَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَهُ وَاحِدُ Allah is the one. He is the only God. سُبْحَانَهُ وَيَكُونَ لَهُ وَلَدُ He is much exalted. Much above and beyond this position that he might beget a son. This doesn't become of him. He doesn't require a son. Why? Son is required by a person. Why? Because he knows he has to die. So his name, you know, will be remembered by the son. And then the son of the son. It's as if I am continuing some Existence of my own is continuing through my progeny. That is why we very much wish that we should have sons. It's a continuation of our own existence. But Allah Himself is never to die. He is there. He is continuous. Wallahu baki min kulli fanin. So He doesn't need any son. Subhanahu an yakuna lahu walad. He is much above it, much exalted, much beyond this level that He might beget a son. لَهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي اللَّهِ To him belongs everything, all the things which are in the heavens and in the earth. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ وَكِيلًا And Allah is sufficient as a protector and a guardian.